Previously on AI, The Somnium Files. I can see into the future. What the fuck? I know when I'm going to die. What? What? Just what? kidding. <laughs> she's definitely, she's gotta say that, right? Cause this is... <laughs> Just kidding! No, she says that, but I'm... That's probably not you. kidding, yeah. <laughs> And now back to clicking on everything. I wish um this guy was our main character, Date was voiced by Patrick Warburton. <laughs> oh yeah. You can nominate well, I wish it's all I, coming together. I wish everyone was voiced right. by Patrick Warburton, so I mean that's true. Hey, Peter. And the girl? She's uh She's an important with me. This case. Hey. She's an important witness to the case. Oh, uh, okay. uh, you see, she uh, just wanted to come <laughs> along. So she's, she's an important she's witness here. to this case. What else is there for us to investigate here? I feel like we're wasting time. Yeah, I feel like we could investigate the inside of the, like the middle column section. We should be able to because we didn't. Right after we found our pseudo daughter, we left. Mr. Date, that horse. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Hmm. Hmm. I will say that I feel like this Ferris wheel might come into play. I know that sounds stupid, but it, it's just like, it's very like... Yeah, do you think maybe it's gonna like, um, roll away <laughs> and then like... <laughs> it's, it's gonna chase after it's us? chase our, our protagonist? Is she gonna ride the fucking panda? A black and white bear? But I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? Mm. Oh, oh, that took me a second. That took me a second. C took me quite a few seconds. A black and white bear. I'm not gonna be punished, am I? Yeah, the Monokuma. That's it's funny. It's punishment time. Just thinking about a game I like. <laughs> it's funny because they have a they have a. They have a company together now. Yeah. It's a real, real laugh. It's a bench. I mean, it's... It's... It makes me angry. If there's two people who, who like, have games that work well together, it's those two. Why is he so fucking mad at benches? He's like, I would burn all those benches if I could. Because a, a, a bench killed his family. Oh, you're right. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Clearly. How, why else would he ha hate benches? Policeman, a local cop. Oh, I wonder if Kagami is here. Who? A local cop. Oh, how's the investigation? That one inspector, you know? Who? Kagagare. Kagaro from Fire Emblem Fates. Oh, Kagaro. Yeah, I doubt yeah, she's here. Fates. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Could be. It's control room. Is that a phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? Hmm. I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Hmm, interesting. Making a Superman reference. Wait, are we, so are we, are we, are we implying that she's not 18? We go. But then maybe she's our sister. Maybe she's just an eternal goddess being named Iris. Twenty-four? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? A twenty-four-year-old hanging out with a twelve-year-old. Hmm. What fucking creepo? The more I think about it, the more this girl's age just is weirder and weirder. I think that all, of, all of this is. Even though it's down, written down, it's misinformation. Social networking service. ASAT, you bet. Call and response games. That's weird. Shovel foot. There we go. Awesome. Which I will not mention for legal reasons. Uh, this game's sense of humor has been great so far. Yeah. It really has. Volatile solve. So I think Iris. Remember when Dante said, I'm used to sinking? That was a pun. 
Date is a sinker at Abyss, which is why he made that comment. <laughs> it's explaining the joke. What is... I don't even remember them talking about Jocko. Whatever. Lemniscate? A Lemniscate is a curve represented by R to the power of 2 equals A to the power of 2. Cosine 2... It's an infinite symbol, yes. Thank you. It's an infinity symbol. <laughs> he was like, okay, Duncan, okay, just shut up. <laughs> we get it. Well, let's see, how far do you think we are in the game at this point? Um, maybe like a, a fourth? <laughs> oh, uh, dude, a pole. Ooh. It's perfect for... Uh, Roof of the Mary Ground pulled it now from the years. So I think there's two options with Iris. She's either a goddess or a robot. She could be a robot. Oh my god. Is she really did she really read my mind and my joke? Oh god, no! Yes! Dylan, our sense of humor, it's exactly the same as the stupid games. Yes, I do. <laughs> I I love that this is like it's been so good at uh you know what I mean like yeah it's it's mimicking our joke our joke style <laughs> like there's been so many times where we've said something and then it literally happens it, like just the very next thing that pops up a local cop okay where was the corpse I just can't I, I do I, I will say that I feel like it's a little sometimes things are a little too far away mm-hmm just a local cop. Um, my name. <laughs> <laughs> the name is. I don't remember his name. Joko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. There isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was she was moved. Correct. Yeah. So we gotta find where the, the actual murder took place. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. I just want to get to the sinking, which is which is that's part of the. Uh, I think that's going into hey, like Iris, some other character's somnium, which is what we were doing earlier. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like that'll be like the main puzzle aspects of the game. Yeah, it's like the game part. Because you know, like we're not getting evidence to use in like a case, you know, like, and we're not getting items either. Right. My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Hmm. <laughs> um. What are you doing? It's a natural detective, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. Or to some Egyptian god. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But, do you have any proof? I do! Well, let's hear it. <coughs> the horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus. Dad, what is up with this fucking Egyptian stuff? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You don't know Horus? God of the Horus sun. Is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the Eye of Providence. Like, I like that they're explaining this to us, because if you didn't have any knowledge of Egyptian mythology, like, I, I have, like, a very basic understanding. You certainly seem to have a, a, a bit more deeper of an understanding than I do. But it still feels kind of out of place here, doesn't it? She's all of a sudden, like, horse, like Horus. Anyways, here's the backstory of yeah. the Egyptian gods. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's the Illuminati. I yeah. see. God, fuck, he even talks like me. Just like what's on the ah, I see. Yeah, exactly. 
The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry in the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. You think the Illuminati? You think the Illuminati killed her? Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Wait a sec, how long ago did it close? Yesterday. <laughs> With the murder. <laughs> no, it's been closed for a while, they said. I don't remember how long they said earlier. I, th I, I swear Boss said something earlier. Hmm. Oh well. Kabasaki is restricted, right? Yep. No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Blue Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. Dude, you're right. She totally is like a nobody. I swear, I feel like I've heard her, her voice before, but I've literally never seen anything she's been in. Who? Oh. Uh, the voice actress for Iris. Hmm, yeah. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Oh, but Zach Aguilar, who plays, um, uh, whatever his name is, Oda, he's the new voice actor for Byla. Oh, sick. He was also, uh, Cardboard, Cardboard Man from Fate Apocrypha. Oh, oh, yeah, Mr. Cardboard. Good, good. Yeah, mi good old Mr. Cardboard. And Genos and the, uh, Genos and Arthur. So Genos from One Punch Man and Arthur Pendragon from Seven Deadly Sins. Hmm. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they okay? No. I don't know. They're dead. <laughs> nope. They're dead. Not if anything happens to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? No. Mm, we're dead. <laughs> Tough to this say. Is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. You think this whole game is going to be this one murder? Yes, legally. Um, I think. I think it'll be chains off of this one murder. Other murders revolving around this murder. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. Ota's telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Hmm. So she pulled it out? She must have pulled it out. But why? Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay. You all right? Are you okay? All the policemen have vanished again. Morning sickness. She's pregnant. I'm kidding. Okay. What are you? It's not like I would know. She's definitely. Get on. She's. <sighs> I'll give you a ride home. Yes, four. She's definitely like future. How much do you weigh? She's definitely like his sister or something. Yeah, she's definitely something weird. You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. I think she's gonna die. Like really soon. Boom. <laughs> like like I think I feel like like Well she's gonna die and we're gonna spend the rest of the game trying to like solve her murder. More so than Shoko's. Yeah. Or we, like, figure out who killed Shoko. Or at least we think we do. And then she dies. 
And it turns well, maybe, out it was the wrong one. Maybe we find out it was her who killed Shoko. Mm hmm. Uh, I, was, I was like, is he going to say the exact same things again? You know, I'm feeling kind of bored. Seriously? I don't. The way she said that was a little suspect. <laughs> oh my god. There's a woman in the back seat. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> That's funny. Did he ever intro No, no, he did. I was going to say, did he actually introduce himself to her? And he did. Meanie, meanie, bo beanie. Kind of fan of Fofi. Fee, fi, mo, meanie? Me. Can't believe I remember that silly That's line. awesome. Uh. <laughs> they must be siblings. <laughs> or. Or. Hear me out here. She. Is, is pregnant, yes, with Date. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> right She's now. pregnant with Date. Right at this very second. So I, I'm, I decided I wanted to watch the trailer. Because I wanted to give a little bit of hints as to what might be coming up. Mm -hmm. There's some pretty intense stuff in the trailer. Spoilery intense stuff? I don't know if it's spoilery, yeah, per probably. se. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I mean, maybe it's just like stuff that kind of like hints at future events. Sure. But I don't know. Just see, a lot of it seems like nonsense. Like a lot of it. <laughs> you know how stuff always gets beat. Don't you wish they could make these? No, I see. I skipped through that because I felt like that was literally worthless. <laughs> and I feel like you're worthless, Iris. Yeah, me too. Oh, uh, horrible. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Do you think she I knows think him? So. Mm. What if I threw up right here? Mm. I would put it right back where it came from. Oh. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Hmm. And then she threw herself out. Yeah. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that he will Okay, back so she was lying about her age. She's old enough to be it. carrying a child. They say when you stick your hand out of a car She's warm, so she's going through like menopause. What? Hey, watch it. You'll get your Why is that a phrase that she would use? It's so weird. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. Remember, she's a goddess. My arm regenerates like an alien. Yep. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. No, you're yeah. gonna die. No, not that. <laughs> it feels like Oh. That's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Dante's having none of this shit. Yeah. It feels nice. I am prepared for there to be complete mindfuckery bullshit in this game. Mm -hmm. Because like 999 wasn't too bad. There was like there was like the one conceit of that game that was pretty cool. Right. But then VLR with the Schrodinger's box and you should come in and stuff, and then whoa, hey! No, that's all right. It's that apartment. Yep. Ooh, going home already. Cyrus. Ah. Right. 
Oh, I totally thought she was gonna be dead. Cause I, so I was look, I was, I was flipping through my art book, right? Yeah. And I saw she was in here, and I was like, oh, interesting that they would have a full, full art page for a dead character. Right. Right. Oh, and it has a description number. I didn't see it. Itomi is Iris's mother and unmarried. Oh. Her parents died in an accident when she was 17. She raised Iris alone. Due to an injury in the past, she can't move her right arm. Huh. Huh. She loves zombie movies. Hmm. So okay. Renju, he has been Date's close friend for five years. to see if there's any other like interesting info from these things yeah um i mean like the mayumi matsushita she has a page in here lately her memory has begun to get spotty oda doesn't have anything interesting oh i could have looked at his age in here 24 he does not seem 24 <laughs> mizuki has lived at date's house for four years Never passes up an opportunity to tease Date or attack him emotionally. Jesus. All right. Literally, literally, all of her art in here is she's shown holding a metal pipe, which is part of her thing. Let's see. Iris is an internet idol belonging to the entertainment office Lemniscape. Her stage name is Aset, but her friends call her Tessa. She is Hitomi's daughter and good friends with Oda and Mizuki. And the true killer. It does seem like she is. I would be, uh... Huh. Man. Well, that's it for the art. The only other thing in the art book that I, I kind of saw and I decided to skim over is it does have, like, locations mm -hmm. for the different somniums that we might investigate throughout the game. Yeah. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. Come on, I'll make some tea. I will say that the mysteries have they've started to kinda pull me in a little bit more. You you're nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. I've definitely never heard that voice actress before. You want me to hit on you? you are? <laughs> hit, hit on me, hit, hit on me. Are you a detective? Doesn't she kind of her voice? Her voice actor seems a little weird. Mr. Dante said he's Iris. Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. She has like that, like somebody struggling to speak the English language, kind of. Yeah. Oh no! Back uh, to it. But here, so we're literally sitting in the same spot as we were before. This is where the so skeleton was. Yes. Yeah. I, I guess I still I am still under the impression that the skeleton is Date. You thought it was the victim, right? Um. No. I I agree. It's probably Date. I I didn't actually see. What did he say? It's a shoebox. I wonder what they smell like. I'm sorry. What? What? What the fuck, Date? <laughs> Mysterious object. There's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of a kind of angel? What? Oh! Oh no! A mysterious object! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's an object! Dylan, watch out! Watch out for the object. A clock. Wow, fascinating. I'm never gonna get over the fact that they, like, let you investigate some things, and it just says, a bookshelf. Mm-hmm. As if you were I looking at like, what? What? What could it be? What is this? I just... I just don't know! <gasps> oh, it's a bookshelf. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Lights are off. How does, so like, 
It's going to bother me if they don't mention that it's the same one from his dream. Because it's very obviously the same one from his dream. The same room. So, like, I really hope Iba at the very least says, Hey, <laughs> hey, motherfucker. I think he's more focused on the woman. The girl, yeah. Iba, let me know if you're cold. Ooh. Ooh. That's Ooh. cold. <laughs> That's real cold. Coming from a five year old. We could always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. Ha. Why is that a continuing joke? I don't know, but it's great. It's, it's so dumb. <laughs> it's the dumbest fucking joke. It's just him going, huh. I don't really understand what this word is. There's a door in the back of the room. The ceiling fan is spinning. It's a picture. So it's definitely her dad. Maybe they're both already... Maybe they're both dead. Maybe. What do you think? It's possible. I saw... Why? Is there a problem? <laughs> Why is it that when I click on this random fucking no. cushion... That's where he goes, oh, hey, this is that dream, this is that, that, that uh, whole room for my dream last night. Telephone in the corner. That's oh, a look. very it's a, noticeable it's question. It's a winter iris. It's an iris. It's a winter iris. An iris. I thought those bloom in May. Well, this is a winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Hmm. Boy, this sure is awkward, ain't it? What a what nice weather we're having, huh, fellas? I like to imagine that he's sitting here. And they're waiting for him to talk, and he's just like... He's looking around. He's like, oh, a speaker system. He looks at the bookshelf, and he just goes, oh, it's Two a bookshelf. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> it's like, you know. Mr. Date, what are you staring at? Your sound system. My sound system? What about it? It's... I was just admiring It's it. like a penis. I wish I had one that big. <laughs> I don't know why. What the fuck? Why is this the way it is? Wow. No effects, unfortunately. Sorry, Iba. I don't. Wow, what I a just, big sound system. This is like. I gotta look over. Why? So he's like. It. So he goes like. Speaker system, two speakers in a console, two speakers in a long, thin box in the middle. <laughs> it's like, you know, I wish I had one that big. Alrighty, that's... Beautiful. Well, I've almost, I've almost investigated everything. There's an elementary workbook on the table. Hmm. And the low table. And the sofa. And then I think that's everything, so... Look, I saw her. I saw her in my dream last night. And that's impossible. Maybe she wasn't dead in the dream, and that's when she got her arm hurt? Hmm. Little chipper. Maybe, maybe. You think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go and t look. That that was telling me to go and look at the flowers. I've already checked them. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. There's poison. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh, mom used to be right-handed, but now. 
She can't use the right arm. It locked up on me. Ah, I see. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Hmm. I hope they all die. I hope every character we've met so far. supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. I hope every character we've met so far dies because Since I hate all born. of them. <laughs> no, you don't. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, I don't know. Huh? You know, at first I wasn't sure if I liked her voice actor, but now that I'm listening to it more, she just sounds very natural. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Like, more like motherly? Must be a tough I don't know. Child. Yeah. Everybody else kind of well, sounds kind of anime. For me. She's just sort of... I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. She does sound like somebody speaking a different language, though. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? Uh, don't ask about her husband. I don't have one. Divorce? Nope. Mr. Dottie. She was an immaculate conception. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. One day God came down and he was just like, hey, I'll put a baby in you. Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Fuck. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lendiscape, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Hmm. So everything. She does know everything. Yeah. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? She did. No reason. What? What? Come on, dude. She's dead. Tell her. Well, I think it's time for me to... She's not even going to ask why I just drove her daughter home. Maybe she comes home with a lot of nice young Strange. men. Mr. <laughs> we'll see each other again, right? Yeah, when you die. So you want that? Yeah, I, I'm sure oh we'll have plenty of I, chance to talk. I swear she's going to die. She's probably going to die, like, tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole reason that we came here and we. she's like, I just knew something good was going to happen today. If you ever today. see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh, but because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She definitely is. Am she I is kind of am like I crazy and just thinking that it's like? What? Anyway, I mean, some flags are definitely popping up. It's like a lot of flags, but is it sock puppeting or? I don't know. We gonna find out. Use your other hand. What a dick. Douche. Did he introduce himself? Yes, he did. Probably. I keep thinking, did he introduce himself? I think you can, like... So this was made on Unity? Instead yeah. of, like, a... Like a normal game engine? Mm-hmm. Like a, like, one, like a proprietary one? Sure. I think you can kind of tell. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Dante, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Why... 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 Why am I missing an eye? Why are you not currently... It's so you can talk to yourself. It's so I, you and Iba can chat. Not at all. Why would I hide them there? Hey, me. Wanna play a game? Hmm. Sure, let's play I Spy. Hmm. I Spy is something round. I eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> Now, who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, it's me! 
Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Perhaps he's had too much medication. <clears throat> Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. You do not appear to be fine. Fuck off. Wait a sec, how? No. Oh. Hmm. I see. I uh, finally found her. It's in the steering She's wheel. It's in the steering wheel. I see. The rear view mirror. A crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. <laughs> You're in a car. The grandma would have to be running very fast. <laughs> she is running very fast. Center console. Steering wheel. She's charging. Bob Shoko's corpse. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday. Around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stabs. Yeah, we know this. Weapon, weapon uses the ice the pick. Is almost there were no fingerprints. Hair. hair yeah. Or um, about the blood stains. When we arrived, there was no blood on the horse. Yeah. No Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. Okay. If there's even the slightest. Bye. Way. Then this is good. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. Almost. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past Perhaps this game hide and seek. or this director. Hide and seek. Yeah. It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. All right, I guess we have more to talk about with the corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one, one of the, the horses. horses. This, this makes it clear to kill the killer had no intention. Rather, hmm. it appears as though it was just our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send do we know someone who likes the limelight? We do. We do indeed. The corpse is <laughs> found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was... So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Iba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Hmm. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's nope. security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. And I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a hmm. single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. She was flown there on a catapult. Uh. Trebuchet. Release. Just like that. Thank you.